China's foreign ministry spokesperson condemned Washington's move on Tuesday, calling it illegal and baseless. U.S. is act is against international law and basic principle of international relations. It is an interference of China's internal affairs. The making of Chinese laws is based on China's constitution. It legally safeguards the prosperity and stability of Hong Kong. The signing of the Hong Kong Autonomy Act is yet another roll of the dice by the United States in its escalating role with China. The executive order blocks the U.S. property of those who are set to undermine democratic institutions in Hong Kong. It also revokes license exceptions for exports to Hong Kong and eliminates the preference for Hong Kong passport holders as compared to Chinese mainlands. The Hong Kong Autonomy Act, which I signed this afternoon, passed unanimously through Congress. It's just the latest escalation in the country's souring relations of late. Many experts believe such seismic moves from Washington are no longer a surprise. Well, I, first of all, I would say it's not new normal, it's, n- it's a new it's a abnormal, okay? It's a new abnormal. Right. It shouldn't have happened that way. Um, mm-hmm. And I think it's a combination of a couple of things. Uh, it's almost like a perfect storm. One is, of course, you know, we have this, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, fundamental long-term uh, structural differences, basically, uh, that culminated in this trade war that President Trump has uh, initiated. Second, I think it's a lot to do with the uh, coronavirus uh, mm. situation. The uh, United States suffered greatly, and it wants somebody to blame, and China happens to be a victim. For months, Trump has blamed China for, in his words, sending the coronavirus to the U.S., while defending his administration's own response as cases soar. Last week, the U.S. official withdrew from the World Health Organization, which Trump claimed was beholden to China. The U.S. president also says because of the pandemic, he won't consider another trade deal with China. Although Trump and his presumptive Democratic challenger Joe Biden have accused each other of being weak on China, recent moves by the U.S. suggest otherwise. I want to know when's the last time you spoke with President Xi of China? And do you plan to speak with him in the near future? No, I haven't spoken to him. Well, no, I don't. I have no plan to speak to him. America's significant business community in Hong Kong have been caught up in the new law. The New York Times says it will shift part of its Hong Kong office to Seoul. Meanwhile, many teachers say they worry for the city's future and its reputation for academic freedom and excellence. Trump has declared himself to be the toughest ever president on China, a position he's taking ever more rigorously as November's presidential election draws near. Signing the executive order is one thing, but he now must deal with Beijing's response. Jasmine Sen, CGTN.